What's up, you two? Capital G here, checking out a brand new Lynch Monster that just got revealed. This is going to be released in the OCG as a Jump Fiesta promo, and man, it is very reminiscent of a card that actually just got the Bane Hammer not too long ago in the OCG. You guys will know exactly what card I'm talking about as soon as I read the effect, or if you just read the title of this video. Anyways, let's go ahead and break down our morale, the Star Guy Dragon. It's a Dark Dragon, it's a Link 2 monster, 1400 attack. Two effect monsters is all you need to summon it. So basically, you can summon this in anything. As long as you're not using tokens, basically every Yu-Gi-Oh deck under the sun can summon this. The effect is a hard once per turn. And actually, hold on. The link points are bottom left and bottom right. Gotta say that as well. It says uh, you can target one face-up monster this card points to. Special summon one monster with the same original level from your hand and in, in face-up defense position to a zone this card points to, but its effects are negated. Okay, so let's just state the obvious with this card. It is clearly supposed to be a replacement for Summon Sorceress, and I think that anyone with eyes can recognize that. Summon Sorceress, of course, is no longer legal in the OCG. I kind of feel like Konami's hands were tied with that card. As I've stated in the past, Summon Sorceress is a card that really, if you look at it, people only use it for degenerate combos and really just bullshit that's not very fun to deal with, whether it be Goki, you know, extra links in the past, or Gumblar loops, or, you know, the Rongo deck with number 86 where you can't really play Yu-Gi-Oh! Those are pretty much the only place that people use Summon Sorceress for, so Konami had to eliminate it because it just wasn't a very fun card to deal with or at least the stuff it facilitated wasn't very fun now this card obviously is a super watered down version and you know it's a substitute that's fair it's kind of like when you have a class or a teacher that you really like in school and then your teacher gets sick for a week and you're like oh man we got this shitty substitute this class is ruined this is basically that except in a Yu-Gi-Oh context now <laughs> jokes aside I think that this is a much more fair version of something like summon sorcerers number one it does not summon from the deck. It only summons from the hand. Number two, it has a level restriction built into it instead of a type restriction. That is just, that's a that's a much bigger deal because especially with the range archetypes, if you guys have noticed, a lot of the ones from the anime, Ultra Guys, Trickstar, Goki, even Salaman Greats, a lot of them, they have their levels staggered throughout the archetype so that you really can't spam XC monsters Then You kind of have to use this card with uh, like the Arc V archetypes and moving backwards. Like this card would actually work well in my opinion in something like abc now you know don't be like ah oh, cap g this is terrible because i'm not an abc expert or anything but i do know the abc monsters their effects on the field don't really like they don't have any effects on the field so an abc piece being negated doesn't matter abcs are not hard once per turns in any context also they're all level four so in a deck like abc this might actually do a little bit of work also the obvious and this is the thing where you can see that konami is trying to further balance this card is obviously the fact that armor can't be used as link material i talked about this at nauseum last week i made a full video about how konami was fixing the link mechanic and the link monsters you know right in front of our eyes and i predicted that they were going to do this with all of these new generic monsters that they're going to make i said that they weren't going to stop making generic monsters but they were just going to start putting restrictions on these monsters that let you special summon from the hand the deck or the graveyard and lo and behold this guy you know can't be used as a link monster you see it in the phantom knight link you see it with the, the raid raptor wise tricks i feel like you're going to start seeing restrictions like that on like all the link monsters that are not you know specifically in an architect overall this card obviously it's way worse than summon sorceress but summon sorceress is a broken card i kind of feel like it'll end up getting banned in the tcg and eventually we'll get this and konami will basically say hey this is uh your summon sorceress replacement again the only deck i can kind of think of off the top of my head would be something like abc where i think this card could actually be kind of good in but i'm sure you guys can leave a lot of uh, other decks that this card could be really good in in the comment section below anyways what do you guys think of amaril the star guy dragon and what do you guys think about these cards that are kind of, you know, more balanced versions of some of the Broken Link monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh! Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you love it? Etc. Etc. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already. Turn on that notification bell for daily videos.